It's the first sign of hope I've seen. Being a former potato grower, I know what it means, and hopefully it gives a little heart to uh, the potato industry and PEI. It's been a big day for us here. Hope that PEI potatoes might soon be flowing across the U.S. border once again. Now, Canadian officials met today with the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Culture, rather, Tom Vilsack, in Washington. Our own Agriculture Minister, Marie-Claude Bibot, is in Washington. Minister, thanks so much for coming on the show. Well, thanks for inviting me. This is a big step, an opening, a path forward, as you put it earlier today, a hopeful day for PEI potato farmers. How did you get to this point with the United States? Well, from the beginning, we uh, we believed it was a, a, a serious, you know, phytosanitary issue and that we would be able to solve it through science. So the CFI team worked very hard to provide additional evidence to strengthen our management plan. And today, uh, with Minister McCauley, we had this meeting with Secretary Vilsack. And I think uh, he, he got our message very clearly. Uh, he understood, you know, the, the time sensitivity of the issue, and he clearly uh, directed the, uh, the head of APHIS, uh, his agency, to proceed as expeditiously as possible with the analysis of table stock potato to Puerto Rico first, and then for the main land. So we are very hopeful knowing that our Canadian scientists are very confident that uh, table stock potatoes can be exported with very negligible risks. So we are hopeful to open the market for Puerto Rico first within a week or two and very shortly after for the whole mainland. Why that two week delay to get things rolling to Puerto Rico? Well, we have to let uh, APHIS, the American agency, proceed with their own analysis of our evidence. And as I said, it, it will be uh, decided at the end, you know, based on their analysis. But considering that Canadian scientists are confident and, and they speak the same language as the American scientists, they, they uh, can evaluate the, the risk, you know, the same way. So we are confident that the results will be positive, and I can assure you that as soon as we get the green light from uh, AFIS and Secretary Vilsack, CFI will start issuing export certificate immediately. And, and AFIS, we should say, is, is the Plant Health Inspection Service in the United States. For those who don't know, what is it going to take, do you think, to, to get to the point where you can finally tell PEI potato farmers that they can start sending their table stock potatoes to the United States? What what more do American officials need? I think they've got everything they need. They have to proceed with their analysis uh, based on all the evidence that we have provided. You mentioned the timeline issue, that it is time sensitive. Just take us through that, because there are a lot of concerns from farmers and the, and the PEI potato board that they're going yes, to have to destroy because... supply, right? Yes, this is what we want to avoid. And this is why we have invested $28 million to find uh, new ways uh, to, uh, to, to, to utilize uh, the surplus potatoes through new markets, uh, making, them, making more uh, potatoes uh, going to uh, processing facilities, sell, uh, sending some to food banks. But if we cannot open, if we're not open, uh, able to open markets to the United States, we would have to destroy a portion of their potatoes and it would be very unfortunate and nobody wants that. Uh, and to do it in a, an environmentally uh, sustainable way, it has to be done during the very cold season. So a decision has to be taken within a few weeks. So this is one reason. And obviously as all producers, uh, they are making decisions for the next season. So this is why it is so important for them to uh, get, you know, uh, to know what, if the market of Puerto Rico and the whole United States will reopen quickly, starting with table stock potatoes. Do you think you've avoided that worst case scenario of farmers having to destroy their crop? Do you think this timeline is going to work out in their favor? I'm very hopeful. We understand uh, that Secretary Vilsack also raised another topic with you, Canadian dairy supply management. What concerns, Minister, did he raise specifically with you? Well, you know that the panel has uh, evaluated our uh, supply management system and the way we allocate TRQs. So uh, we are actually uh, 
following up on that, the three of the four recommendations of the committee were favorable to Canadians, but we have uh, to look at uh, the way we allocate uh, these uh, tariff uh, allocations. So uh, this is what we are doing. So I gave you know, assurance to Secretary Vilsack that we are taking it seriously and uh, we want to uh, abide by our international uh, trade agreement. Are you concerned that we may get to a point where we have another trade dispute on our hands? No, I, I think uh, we both, you know, are want to uh, to collaborate. We want to do uh, trade based on science, based on rules. Uh, we are very, two very like-minded countries on on various fronts. So I'm I'm confident that we will find solutions, reasonable solution on both cases. If I can go back to potatoes for just a moment, since that was the original focus of our conversation, uh, Minister. For those who, who don't necessarily understand the industry and where they're being shipped to abroad, why were you able to start with Puerto Rico first? Why was that the, the first step in the path forward? Well, Puerto Rico represents 25% of our exports to the United States, potato exports to the United States. And because of the climate, it, it is one good reason potato ward uh, would not develop uh, under such a climate. And uh, Puerto Rico is not an important producer nor an exporter of, uh, of potatoes. So, you know, on different fronts, uh, there's not much risk uh, of, uh, you know, uh, taking uh, potatoes uh, on the island first. And then there's a bit uh, deeper analysis that has to be done for the mainland because obviously uh, the American, the uh, United States is free of potato war and they are a big producer and exporter of potatoes. So they have to be more cautious. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you certainly know, Minister, throughout this, this entire saga, uh, PEI farmers have been upset with the Canadian government for making this preemptive move. You know, they've been saying this this wasn't a necessary move at all, that this was this the wart showed up in fields that weren't, you know, potatoes that were for export. So what what did you want to say to them at this stage in the game? There was nothing voluntary uh, in this. Uh, we, we found, you know, new detections of potato wart on the island. CFI, our Canadian Food Inspection Agency, uh, did what they had to do. Uh, we had to make decisions for our own to protect the other Canadian provinces and to inform our trading partners. Uh, we proceeded in such a way in Canada under the Canadian ministerial order that seed potatoes are limited, you know, cannot move, but that with our management plan, uh, table stock potatoes, processing potatoes can go everywhere outside the, uh, the island according to these plans. Unfortunately, was not strong enough for the Americans. They wanted to take more time to get more evidence, to be reassured. So we had no other choice than, uh, you know, suspended the emission of export certificates because we were no longer meeting the requirements of the Americans. And, I, and actually, we, we, I'm glad that we avoided we avoided a federal order from the United States because even if we had this discussion today and we would get you know, positive, a positive response from APHIS in, in a couple of weeks, if we were facing a federal order, it would take many months, even years more uh, to reverse the law. So in the situation we are right now, as soon as APHIS, the American agency, gives us the green light, CFI, our Canadian agent agency, will start issuing the export certificate. So this is the plan that I'm following from the beginning. I'm, I know it was creating a lot of anxiety uh, to producers. I, I understand that, but uh, I thought it was the path forward, and it seems that we are, we are getting through. So weeks away before they can be sent to the U.S., fair to say? I think so. Secretary Vilsack gave clear direction to the head of his agency to proceed with the analysis. And considering the results uh, of, our, uh, of the analysis by our Canadian experts, we are confident that the American experts will reach the same conclusion. Minister Bibo, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.